For the second topic, we have estrous synchronization in cattle. Estrous synchronization is the process of targeting female mammals to come to heat within a short time frame, about 36 to 96 hours. This is achieved through the use of one or more hormones. GnRH and prostaglandin are examples of two hormones used in the sync protocols during estrous synchronization. So why use estrous synchronization? So it is for the purpose of shortening the calving interval, which allows female, especially the heifers, to conceive earlier in the breeding season. Next is to more effectively, using AI and embryo transfer, reduce time and labor in detecting estrus. And lastly, producing a more uniform calf crop with similar ages. However, it is important to note that estrus synchronization will not substitute for lack of nutrition, herd health, and poor herd management. Therefore, it is not effective in non-cycling females. Milk is a product of great demand all year round. So in order to achieve this, dairy farmers need to change their breeding routines and estrus synchronization enable this change, allowing dairy farmers to produce milk for human consumption year round. Research has been conducted in two different ways. Farmers can now perform estrus synchronization such as progesterone injections or a progesterone-releasing intravaginal device or pride. So the pride is a sponge that is inserted into the vagina to stop the natural estrus cycle for it acts as a corpus luteum. Progesterone signals the body to stop the cycle because fertilization has occurred. So when the sponge is removed, the cycle restarts. So for the injections, there are many different injection methods that have been put into practice in order to manipulate the estrous cycle. These involve injections into each cow that, with a measured amount of progesterone or progestin and waiting 5 to 7 days or until heat signals occur. Before moving on to different impregnating methods, such as joining the cow or heifers with a bull. So for the other hormones, so we have first the estrogen, and it is from the dominant follicle, which induces behavioral estrus. Next, we have the progesterone from the corpus luteum, which maintains pregnancy and suppresses ovulation. Prostaglandin from the uterus, which regresses the corpus luteum, and GnRH from the hypothalamus that indirectly stimulates ovulation. So the advantages of estrosynchronization is that it makes artificial insemination more practical. Next is increase in productivity of embryo transfer and artificial insemination due to reduce costs associated with veterinarian and semen services. Concentrated calving and uniform weaning saves time and cheaper than having individual cows heat throughout the year. The disadvantages, however, is that it requires a high level of management and skills to be able to manage numerous calving operations at a synchronous time. Maintaining nutrition and herd health are major factors when it comes to achieving the optimum reproductive performance through estrus synchronization.